video, I'm going to give you a complete beginner's guide to Spotfire. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and let's get right into it. First of all, we need to head over to the Spotfire website, which is spotfire.com. From here, we can go ahead and we can try it now. If you'd also like to, you can go ahead and join the Spotfire community, and this will allow you just to talk to other people using it, uh, get support, that kind of thing. So I'm going to go to top, press try now. At this point, it's going to prompt us to put in our email, name, phone, just a few bits of information so we can start our free trial. Go ahead and do that and I'll show you the next steps. So here we are in the dashboard and if you want to, you can go ahead and download it for Windows or you can just simply go ahead and use it in your browser. Now, what I'm going to do from here is first of all, I'm going to go to the little add sign here and you can either go ahead and connect first. So we can go ahead and connect to some data source you might have already, such as Amazon RDS, uh, Google Analytics, uh, Salesforce, any of these you can go ahead and connect to. You can also upload a local file from your computer. Uh, so if we go br browse local file, we can go ahead and import something directly from here. If you want to just go ahead and try out the software, go over to where it says recommended and there's going to be some sample analysis that you can look at. So we have a few different ones that we can go and try here. I'm going to show you the sales and marketing one to start off with. Now it's a pretty fast platform, it doesn't take too long to load which is pretty good. So here you can see we have this um, data here. This is a performance matrix year one versus year two. Um, the performance matrix is a simple yet effective method to identify high and low value stores. Select the markers in the performance matrix to the right and you will see where the stores are located on the map. So you can see here, we can select one here, we can go on dogs and you can see it's going to slow us, show us where uh, the dog related ones are on, on the uh, map. So you can see the brand share change is generally down. So on um, dogs and the market growth is also down on dogs. Whereas if we compare this to something like stars, we can see that this is seemingly a growing industry. Now, when you click on it, it's going to also show you the different um, locations of the stores. Uh, this is for America here. Um, but you can see all the different stores that we've got going along here. The store type, the rank, the name of the store all here. So this is all different data you've got here. Now up here you've got files so if you want to you can go down and you can um, export this data so you can export it as a PDF if you want to and um, you can select this uh, you can export all the pages so it's going to show you the intro um, it's going to show you the map with the thing we've just selected there it's going to go ahead and show us the you know different states, the effects of promotions, all of the pages that we've got available on here you can export it as a PDF. Uh, you can also export it as other things like an Excel file, um, a table, or Microsoft PowerPoint, there's loads of things here. We can also go ahead and share this as a link. We can click here, copy the link and we can send this to people if we want to go ahead and share it with them. And then we can also download as a DXP file here. Now if we go to edit, We've got some things here like filters, we can reset our filters and we have our data here. So if we want to add data and we could do that, obviously we can't do that on here because this is a pre-made one. Uh, and then we've got our visualizations here so we can add the page of visualizations. We have our views so we can create a new window, tools, help, and then we have our user stuff. But I'll speak more about that later. As you can see at the bottom, it kind of works a little bit like Excel in the way that you have the different windows here. So we can go to these different windows here. Um, we can see all the data here. You know, if we click on the map, we can even see the miles squared, which is pretty useful. We can see how many miles we're looking at here. And we can even select a zone within the miles here. And we can see, you know, the different points, the different values that this area is doing. And then we've got the effects of promotion. So the brand share change, the promotions. You can see how it affects the overall performance, sales, all that kind of stuff. Now again here I've opened up a different kind of chart. This is the analyzing stock performance. We can go ahead and um, you know this is a different kind of view here. We can see the uh, top holders by percent held. We can see the uh, companies, the index price chart, all of this data here. And if we go along we can select things like the country view. 
or the region view, we can see the sector and industry breakdown. Um, and you can see that there's just so, it's just so in depth the kind of data visualizations you can create on here. Um, you know, all the way down to these different filters here, the different charts. You can very easily go ahead and create those there. Now, as I said, we can go ahead and do this with our own data if we open it up. They also here have this file called an introduction to Spotfire, which is definitely a useful one to go ahead and look at. It's going to show you a little bit about how you can use it, um, how it shows you the power of it, all that kind of stuff. If we go over here to the example dashboard, um, you can create this by simply creating visualizations in Spotfire. You can create a dashboard very easily that can be shared. Um, and obviously you need your data in here to do that. But you can see it's like a basic dashboard. Um, you can add all these different points in. You can add all these. Uh, the marking, you can it shows you all the different marking things. So you can actually uh, select markers here like this. You can select the different points here. So you can select it and we can get data about it. Filtering, we can do all the filtering here. So we can go here and we can just filter all the different data points. And you've got all your drop and uh, drag and drop. You've got all of these different details here and then it goes to start analyzing. Now what we can do at the top, if we go from viewing, we go to editing mode. This is where we can edit all of the different uh, bits of data here. We can change it in here. Um, we can change the visualization type. So if we want to add a uh, the different types of visualizations, we can add them in here. If we wanted to add a pie chart, we can drag and drop it here. And that's gonna give us a pie chart of the data that we have in here. Um, if we go back, we're gonna see, you know, we can add world data if we want to. So they've got a lot of world data, which is really useful. Um, and then we have like our different formulas here. And then we have our actions here, which we can go ahead and we can create or find in the library. But using the charts here, they're, they're very easy to drag and drop um, onto the different sections here. And you can do this with all of them. So if we wanted to go ahead and say, add a table, we can add it in here and it should show up. Um, now one more thing I want to do is users, you can add team members here, it allows you to add them by their email, very very simple, you can invite a new user and you can give them their roles, so you know what do you want them to do, they can be uh, an analyst, an admin, there's a lot of different things here which changes their sort of permissions. And then something else to look at is we have our subscriptions here. Uh, you can look at all of the different subscriptions that you might want to have, events, audit safe, messaging, live apps, all those different ones here that you can kind of add into it. Um, and you can get a free trial on some of them, for example, this one here. But if you look on the plans, they're going to tell you the pricing um, overall for the different plans here. You just have to go ahead and take a look at the platform there. But that is a general base sort of overview, a beginner sort of guide on how it all works. And if you found this video useful, be sure to go down below and like and subscribe. Comment down below if it helped you out. And let me know if there's any other videos that you'd like me to make on any kind of software and I can go ahead and cover it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.